you know, it's easy to get stuck in sadness. As humans, we experience emotion, and as we go through life, we tend to let our mind go to a negative, sad memory or something we fear may happen that makes us sad. And that's okay, but you also have to pull yourself out of the sadness. Listening to sad songs too long is not healthy. Watching sad movies too much is not healthy. Staying in a place that has sad memories is not healthy. Sell your house if it's that. It's your job. Your therapist can help you. A friend can help you. And I think it's good to share and to connect with others and to get inspiration from others. But I think during the course of the day, it's just you. Remember, when your doctor sends you out of the doctor's office, they can't control what you eat. They can't control how you manage your time. A doctor can only give recommendations or a prescription. Only you, as an individual, can pull yourself out of the darkness. It's not easy, especially for some more than others. It's, it's harder, and I understand that. I empathize with that, but... I can't stay sad because I can't solve everyone else's sadness. Like we can think about all the sad things in the world and people we know, and I wish I can help everyone, but I can't. All I can do is what I can do. And you have to let go of not being able to help everyone out of their sadness. Many times in life, you end up in sadness because you're trying to save someone else from sadness. And some of the most unhealthy people are trying to help other people. It may be out of good intentions because they know the pain of life, but it's also out of laziness because they don't want to do the work of their life. Many people rather work on someone else than work on themselves. That's truth. And your biggest job or one of your biggest jobs is to pull yourself out of sadness. When's the last time you've been in the gym? When's the last time you consistently didn't have a cheat day on the weekends? When's the last time you got out of bed even when you didn't want to? When's the last time you self-cared the shit out of your life? Do you only do things when you're happy? That's going to be a sad life. Because let me tell you something. If you only go to work when you're happy, if you only go to the gym when you're happy, if you only get out of bed when you're happy, you're going to live a sad life. You have to push yourself through the pain. Why is life painful? I don't know. I didn't create the world. Okay. I didn't create the world. I can't take responsibility for everything in the world. You can't take responsibility for everything in the world. You didn't create it. And you can question God, but that ain't going to get you anywhere. You might as well just keep some faith and keep it moving. Change your life if you get this message. If you don't get this message, just, just change your therapist. Some people shop for therapists, and that's why they're always sad. Shop or seek self-care. No one can do it for you. How do you get through the bad days? One foot in front of the other. That's too simple. I need something more complex. Well, you're going to be stuck in sadness. You got to separate from unhealthy relationships. You got to push yourself a little bit. You got to show up even when you're sad. You got to do stuff even when you don't want to. That's the answer. That doesn't make me happy. Well, hey, if that doesn't make you happy, do nothing. See how sad you get. If that doesn't make you happy, stay in an unhealthy relationship. See how happy that makes you. Part of life is doing things when you don't want to do them. Discipline, not easy, but that's what's necessary. No discipline is fun when you're going through it, but there's a reward for those who act in this way. And discipline doesn't mean you're a Marine and you're running through some damn uh, training facility. Discipline means... Put the damn cigarette down. Put the weed down. Change your phone number. Be more diligent in what you need to do for your life. Okay? Because let me tell you something, guys. You can have an AR-57, but if you can't control yourself, you're killing yourself. You can have every gun in the world, but if you can't control yourself, you're killing yourself. You get that? You get that? So what I could tell you is this. There's no energy drink that can give you happiness. Now you say inspirational nomad, you drink Starbucks. That's true. But not more than four cups a day, the daily recommended amount. Okay. And what I could tell you is this, guys, you gotta have a little bit of treats, but you also gotta, you know what I mean? 
you gotta have uh, Trent to ice water. You gotta balance your life, and you gotta have more self care than self pity. Can't be apathetic, indifferent. Okay. So that's the message. Okay. If that message changed your life, click the thumbs up. If you want to support the channel? Click the blue join button. Get unlimited access to all my live chats. Or if you just want to lurk in the background and fucking you want someone to to totally come in your house, give you a million dollars before you click the thumbs up, do what you want. I don't care. Why? Because I don't depend on you for my happiness. I don't depend on a subscriber for my happiness. I don't depend on anyone. Because, guys, happiness inside job. Okay? So you can take your thumbs up and you can ram it up your ass. Okay? That's what I tell you. Okay? Now you say, I don't, that don't make me happy. I don't give a fuck what makes you happy. Because okay? it's not my job to make you happy. That's the difference between me and your overpaid therapist. I don't have to pander to you. Okay? I don't have to tell you what you want me to hear, what you want to hear. I don't have to. Okay? So what I can tell you is this, guys. That's the bottom line. I'll see you in the next one. Mm, yeah, that was a good one. That was good.